Uh, Michael Alvard, A L V A R D. Okay, and are you a Bryant or Constitution resident? Constitution. Okay. Okay. So tell me a little bit about why, like what you said, why you guys are out here today. Why you're out I don't know. You know, I'm only speaking for myself. Do I okay. have to ask the other people what, what they, uh, what why they, are you why are they here? here? Well, I'm here to protest uh, Eric Cantor and his uh, his very close financial relationship with uh, with Wall Street. From what I understand, he receives uh, more money than any other uh, congressman from Wall Street, and he takes that money, uh, campaign uh, finance money, and he gets elected, and then he does the bidding of um, hedge fund managers uh, in Congress. And that relationship, the close relationship between corporate money and government, uh, needs to be over for the country in serious trouble. And we're here protesting Cantor's uh, piece of the whole criminal puzzle. So um, were you part of uh, the Occupy BCS? Uh, you mean, was I there? Yeah, were you part of it? Yes, or? I was there, sure. Okay. Um, now, do you think this has uh, a lot of people talking as well as, you know, does it have anything to do with uh, Occupy Wall Street, do you think? Occupy Wall Street? Yeah, well, where's our, where Occupy uh, BCS? Right. CX, yeah, yeah, we're so part of, sure. So do you think this is part of that? Part of it, you know, like. Uh, I, 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 in my mind, it is sure. I mean, I think it all goes back to the Arab Spring. I mean, start in Tunisia and then, um, and then Egypt, and it is spreading. That you know, the system is is broken, and unfortunately, the United States uh, has played a major role in this whole whole process. But um, things have to change, and a lot of it. You know, I think the Occupy movement focuses on Wall Street because that's where the money has concentrated. And money in the United States now equals power. And now political power with the, the recent Citizens United uh, well, um, uh, Supreme Court case, right? So I, I don't feel like I live in a democracy anymore because it's not one person, one vote. It's the, the number of votes you have depends on how much money you can spend. And that's a serious problem. So you guys are out here, or you're out here today. What do you want people to, to see? Um, what do you want people to get from you guys standing out here? Uh, I want people to become aware. I think it's, uh, it's part education. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people really don't know. They, 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 they receive one side or the other in terms of uh, a biased message, and I don't think they really understand the seriousness of the problem and the fact that, uh, you know, like Eric Cantor, I mean, he's, uh, he, he, his constituency is, is the 1% not the 99%. And I want people to realize that they're the 99%, right? All, there's only you know, a handful of people in all of, 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 uh, of Brazos County that makes more money than you know, half a million dollars a year. We're all ni the 99%, and we need to become aware of that and start acting in our best interest. Okay.